awake. Awake, dear one. Shh, don't be afraid. Just be still. You are not in danger here. You are safe. Safe in bed. Do you remember how you got here? You fell into my arms. You see, you are safe, sweet one. Kidnapped? Well, I wouldn't call it kidnapped exactly. But yes, I did take you against your will. But for a good reason. Don't be frightened. I mean you no harm at all. But I do need you, dear heart. Do something for me. Look deep into my eyes and you will see it. The transmission. Can you see it? Yes. Now feel your heart rate decrease and your breath even now. Listen to my voice. I did not take you to harm you. I've taken you for a much grander purpose, a purpose that I shall explain to you. You see, I have watched you for some time now. I had to. I had to follow you, protect you. Almost like a guardian angel. Except. Except for a few minor details. <laughs> Well, from here on in, your life will never, ever, ever be the same again. Because of your makeup. <laughs> no, not the makeup on your face. Your structure, your DNA. You see... Your bloodline is coveted among a certain group of, let's say, malignant spirits, including me. But don't worry. I am not one of those who want you slayed. I need you alive to continue the fight. The fight against the wicked ones. The ones who just feed. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. You are thinking that I am some kind of insane person who has kidnapped you and is spinning some kind of yarn, but nothing could be further from the truth right now. You are the last hope, the last one. One in 70 trillion humans on this planet. And if you are killed, the human race will be wiped out. If you live, then there is a chance. Who am I? I am the last of the ancients. All the rest have been killed off. The evil ones have been fierce. The battles have been. And they don't depend on donors like us. Yes, donors. Are you beginning to see the story? Oh, you still don't believe me, huh? Don't be afraid. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Amberjo. The 
the last of my kind. Shh, it's okay. I'm sorry, I had to show you. You have to know this. No, 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 you cannot leave. You can never, ever lead a normal life again unless you want to die. You are the savior of the Hibernian Vampire. And I am the last of the Hibernian Demon. Hibernia is the ancient name for Era, Ireland, hence the accent. So do you want to die, or do you want to help me? <sighs> you help me by donating your blood. But I need your blessing. Just like that myth. When a vampire has to ask to enter your house. <laughs> So silly. I need your blessing. But don't worry, it's just a little. Just enough to keep me from turning hurtful. From craving all the human blood I come across. That is why your DNA is so precious. A little drop of your blood keeps humanity and a conscience in me keeps me satiated even the tiniest drop of your blood my last donor they got to her and they killed her she failed to listen to me and and But she was not as pure, and I tried, I tried, and so here I am. I found the one, and I'm asking, I'm begging you to help me, help me to stay moral, to help me to fight, and to help me to procreate. Yes, well, you and I are the last of our kind. And you are so beautiful. You are feeling what? Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> you know, I went to Sweden once and I found it captivating. <laughs> Sorry for the bad joke. The DNA is pulling us together. And it's how I found you. The calling. During the day as I slept in the darkness, I heard your voice, knew your name, felt your presence, and it led me to you. Did you dream about this? Yes, fantasize about being taken. I have always lived in your unconscious, that emptiness that you feel inside. That is the love that was missing between us. To strike us, if it's You are the love of my life. Tatu Ankaramahel. You have the power in you to make me feel love, to make me make love, to continue the Hibernian lineage, to procreate 
to continue to fight against the fallen ones. Can you see it now, my love? Can you see it in my eyes? May I? Can I drink from you my treasure? So I can feel moral, so I can feel the humanity and not so sterile. To create more warriors for this battle. May I have your consent, your neck. flow through my veins plus to cover my macro of your fruit. Together we will rise and restore the order. Come with me, my queen. Come with me to my bed. It's time to continue the lineage. To say 